All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And today, we're going to be looking at the mod secondaries, and I'm going to be explaining just how good each secondary is relative to the primary stat it correlates to. What I mean by this is I'm going to look at how good you can get your speed comparative to using a speed primary on an arrow or a health circle and a health percent secondary. How close can you get them? This is a topic that I've been thinking about a little bit as I wanted to give you guys what the best secondary stats are for mods. And so I thought I'd at least explain how those secondaries can get calculated and why it's important to understand which ones you can get the closest to whatever that primary stat is at its best potential. So let's dive right in. First and foremost, got to thank my channel members so much for their continued support. If you're interested, there's a link down below. Otherwise, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment. It just means so much, you know, when I see this channel continue to grow. I really appreciate all of your support. Let's get into the video. All right, so to just remember with mod secondaries, there is one thing is that it's dependent on the character. The, the secondaries you want on Commander Luke are different than what you want on Wrecker. What you all want on Wrecker is different than Dash, and what you have on Dash is different than Royal Guard, and you get the, you get the idea that each of these characters is going to have something different, that certain stats are going to be more or less important depending on what their function is as a character. So I do want to at least say that before we get into what stat, which I'm saying, hey, this is the one that you can get the most out of because of what it can do. But let's dive right in first, and it's actually defense that is up initially, and this is everybody's favorite stat to, lo to roll. We love when we get defense. Now, this is the percents. I want to make that clear. This is percent stats. We're not looking at flat stats. So on a defense statistic, you can get up to 100% of what a you know, primary defense mod is. So here's the example. This diamond is a defense primary at 20%. If I was to go to my arrow here, you'll notice that I have almost 15%. But if I was to go to the slicing, it'll tell you here that I can get anywhere from 2 to 4% per slice. And if I got the full 4% five times, I would have a 20% defense mod with 32 speed on the primary. So in this example, I'm getting almost, you know, potentially you could get two, like these stats from two primary mods, one being in your secondary and one being on the primary. Now, I know defense, everybody hates it, but I did want to at least bring this up that this is an example where, hey, you can get really good defense while still having another primary mod. Another example here is on my Royal Guard where I've got 13% defense right here. Again, not, the, not as high as you know the other one, but 13% defense, right? I'm missing out on some, but it's not perfect rolls, right? You're not going to get the perfect rolls, but I'm also getting health percent here. And then finally, the last one is on my Darth Revan. I've got an offense mod here with 13% defense. Again, five rolls here. Again, it's also fast, but I wanted to at least show defense that you have the potential. Again, in that enhanced screen, it'll show you, hey, you could get a potential, you know, 20% defense as a secondary stat on your mod. That's really good, right? That is, you think about some of the characters like a Lord Vader, Jabba, you load them up with defense and they get a lot harder to beat. Next is offense, which can also get to 100%. To show this, we're going to start with Savage Press. On the square here, this is always offense, and it's 8.5% offense, right? That is the, I can slice this mod any more times, so I'm not getting more offense percent there. If I go to my second, you know, go to my arrow here, you'll see it's a health primary with 7.6% offense. So I'm missing 0.9% on these two mods, which is awesome. And if you look on the calibration screen, it'll tell you that you can get 1.7 per slice. Well, if you multiply 1.7 by 5, you're going to get 8.5% offense, which means that in a perfect world, if I rolled that every single time, this mod would be 16% health, 8.5% offense, which is effectively two primary mods rolled into one. Now, it's not the perfect world. This is not the perfect mod. It's 7.6. But you notice how close that is. That's still almost, I think it's like 89% of what a primary mod would be. So in this instance, that's a really, really close. Like you think about, I'm almost getting two primary stats out of this mod. So again, at one that I really think this is an important mod to kind of show just how you can really juice these stats. So that is something I wanted to mention. Now, along those same lines with offense percent, you can remember something like a triangle where critical damage cannot be a secondary stat, but, it, but offense percent can be both primary and secondary. So in this example, I've got 6.9% offense <laughs> um, with 42% critical damage. So 
I'm losing a bit of offense, right? I could get more offense 1000%, but I'm gaining 42% critical damage while only missing out on one and a half percent offense. It's one of the big reasons why crit damage mods you want that offense percent is you're doubling down. You're saying, hey, you know what? If I don't critically hit this person, I'm still getting extra offense. Other examples I'm gonna show is just someone like Lord Vader here, right? Four and a half percent again with critical damage. And then finally on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we've got 7.4% offense with crit damage here. So just some examples I wanted to show where with those critical damage mods, by having offense there, you're basically saying, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try and get as much out of this mod as I can. I'm gonna be missing one, you know, 1% 1 offense, but I'm gaining 42% critical damage. I'll take that chance all day long. So that's just offense in a nutshell, right? You can get very, you can get 100% if you're lucky, but realistically, you're not gonna hit 100% for any of these stats, regardless of how close you can get to the secondary. Next is speed, which is by far and away like everybody's favorite, right? Everybody wants speed. So the maximum speed you can get is 32 on a speed arrow, right? On the arrow, you can get 32 speed. Now on a secondary stat, if we go to this cross here, which happens to be my fastest one, it's 28 speed, which if you look, you can get three to six per slice, which means that you could get five slices or five slices at six speed, which would be 30 speed. So you're looking at a 94% of what a speed primary would be. The reason I'm using percentages, I know it's a lot of math guys, but just understand the concept that I can get a mod, I, like this mod here with 28 speed is in the high, it's like 80-ish, you know, 80 some odd percent of what a speed primary would be, plus I'm gaining 24% protection. So I like to share mods like this as an example that yes, you can get really close to that speed primary, while still getting a lot of other stats with it. And this is, you know, again, it's a cross. So it's an example where you're like, well, you can't have speed there anyway. But here's an offense arrow with 25 speed, which as you'll see here, right? 25 speed is significant. That's a that's solid speed. You know, you're missing seven. So it's in the 70 percentile, but I'm also gaining eight and a half percent offense on this mod. So take that into consideration when you're thinking about, you know, mods and characters and, you know, how much speed you do or don't want on them. Something like this, you know, Sith Trooper, I want him assisting. I'd like him to be quick, but I really want him to hit hard. This is where you kind of take advantage of that. And then with General Skywalker, similar situation. He's even got less speed here, but I did want to show that like this mod here with 27 speed, kind of helping offset some of the loss I'm taking on this one where I could get 12 more speed, but trying to keep a lot of protection on him. So again, that's kind of the way that speed, you know, works, right? That you could get close to but not quite the full potential of what a speed arrow would be and you want to have those speed secondaries so that on certain characters like a sith trooper general skywalker some of these other ones where having speed on them is nice but it's not the most important facet of their you know kit that you want them to be fast enough while still having all the rest of the statistics to be a, a solid you know supporting character so those three are the three mods with the highest three secondary stats with the highest potential of their primary that you could get a hundred percent for offense and defense that you on the secondary stat you could roll that to be a hundred percent of what a primary would be whereas speed you're going to get down in this 94 percent those three in my opinion are the most lucrative if you can try and invest in mods that have those things they're going to be super super good now remember right? As I was showing up here, it is going to be dependent on the character. You're not going to want offense percent on your Royal Guard, right? It, it's just, it's, you're not going to want offense percent. You know, you're not going to want, you know, offense percent on Echo or, you know, what I, you know what I mean? Like you don't want certain stats on certain characters, not that it won't help them, but they want other things. So it is dependent on the character. So I am going to show the rest of the mod secondary stats and how they can kind of play a role. So the next one is protection, and this you can get to within 63% of your primary. An example here would be, here's Jedi Master Luke Circle at 24% protection. If I was just to click on this mod, I've only got 8% here. But you look, I could get up to 15. If you do that math, it comes out to about 62 and a half or like 63%. So a huge jump, and this is the gap I'm talking about. This is why it's important to understand this. Look at this, you're dropping 31% of a, of what an effective mod is between what your protection percent is and what your speed could be. And you think that that's even then coming down from offense and defense as well, where they could be 100% of what their primary stat is. So 
Not that protection percent can't be a very good statistic, but you're not going to get as much bang out of your buck that five speed, five rolls on protection is not gonna get you near what five speed rolls could get you in terms of percentage of the stat. That if you replace that as a primary and put it as the secondary, you could potentially only be missing out on six for speed, but you're missing out on 37% protection. And that's the best case scenario. Next is critical chance with a 59% of what you can get as the secondary, or what you could get as the primary. Critical chance here, 20%. And I guess I should have mentioned this earlier, but you cannot have a primary percent stat and it on a secondary as well. That will never happen. So you can never get a speed mod with a speed secondary. Um, but here you'll notice I had 20% critical chance on this mod. If I go here and I would multiply the critical chance here, 2.35 times five, you get 11.75, which is about you know 59% of you know that mod's capability. Again, it's not like the, you know, it's still solid. There are still characters who do want critical chance as secondaries, but if you're looking at, it, like where I was, you know, where that offense percent, right, with these ones, where you're looking at that is, I can put that offense percent as a secondary and still get a really solid primary stat there that, hey, for Star Killer, if I have, you know, I could put critical damage there, I could put health, or, you know, you, you could kind of align these characters to have a, a solid secondary with a really good primary that also helps them out. Whereas with critical chance, you know, if you're going to get some bonus, but you're not going to be, you're going to need it on every single mod to get close to that. You know, you're going to need it on two mods to get to that point where you could get a, you know, make up for not having it on the primary. Now, health and, post and potency are both at 50%. So on here, if we go to potency, this mod on Malak here, you look at potency, I could get, you know, 3% as a max. If I multiply that by 5%, I'm going to end up hitting, you know, 15, which if we look at a Moff Gideon here, 30% potency. So, you know, you can get halfway there. Similarly with health percent, as we're going to look on this one here, I could roll 2% per slice. And if I come down here to a health mod, you can see that I can get 16%. So you can get to half, right? You can get 50% effective of what that primary stat would be. And then the last one here, it, you knew it had to be coming is tenacity, where you can only get to 43%. As you can see on this mod here for Wampa, we've got 35% tenacity on our king. And when you look at secondaries, you can get up to 3% per slice, getting up to 15% of 34, you're looking below 50%. Now that doesn't mean that tenacity and health and protection and potency and crit chance aren't good secondary stats, but the way you use this to your advantage is think of some of these characters who you want to have a lot of offense and a lot of health. You know who comes to mind? Galactic Legends Ray. If I'm using Galactic Legends Ray, right, and I think of this mod on Savasha Press, this is a brilliant mod for Ray. She's going to get 7.5% offense and she's going to get 16% health. So there, I'm juicing her offense and I'm juicing her health. So with Ray, when you see some of those really high offense built rays, you'll notice that they're almost always trying to take advantage of the secondary stats and keeping her health high. Because when she's super low health, some of those counters get very easy. Whereas, hey, I'm gonna keep her health high and I'm gonna get a lot of offense. You're getting a little bit more bang for your buck that you're not missing out on as many, you know, as much stat as you are when you would place health. You know, just another example would be something like down here where I could get, you know, look here for Luke, six and a half percent health or eight and a half percent offense, right? I mean, again, I, this could get up to 8% and I'm still missing half of what I could have, right? Whereas with offense, I'm only, you know, in this example, I'm only missing 0.9. So you, you see the concept there that you really want to try and focus on some of these stats when, when it makes sense that can help your characters other like the speed is another good one like a lot of my characters you'll notice some of these you know key characters like lord vader kylo look offense with high speed here fennec offense with speed right the, some of these characters i'm running with a better statistic on the primary and a lot of speed and you know a reasonable amount of speed in the secondary to kind of help my situation out so 
I just wanted to show this because I think sometimes as players, we get really caught up in certain secondary stats that like you've got to have a lot of health or a lot of this or a lot of that. And honestly, defense was the one that surprised me the most on this list. I don't know about you guys, but defense was very surprising to me that you could get it as close to that as possible because you think of someone like your Royal Guard, why would you not want to load him up with as much defense as possible? Like the health, the protection are super nice, but you load up on defense here and he just gets that much more difficult to kill. So, you know, that's the end of the video, guys. I thought this would be kind of cool to show these mod stats, kind of which ones have the highest potential for, you know, rolling and showing you a little bit of the math involved there. Um, you know, it is important. Modding is one of the most complex things and it's difficult to understand. And that's why it's so sometimes important to understand these some of the underlying things behind these stats and what's going to give you the best secondaries possible. Um, you know, a, I'm just going to say this now. If you're still watching, you get a little bit more advice. But I think there's if there's one thing I would say that puts me in a bracket above some of my peers in terms of GP is the fact that I have characters like Starkiller. Where, hey, I'm modding him for offense with a good speed secondary here. Or that this crit damage with this offense, I'm basically getting two primaries in one. That situations like this are, in my opinion what can separate a good and great player is understanding that yes i don't have quite as you know like when you share your star killer oh phil has less damage than me but are you getting any critical damage you know you've got to look you've got to look beyond just hey you know i've got better stats than that player you know that oh like i'm looking at star killer's offense or i'm looking at star killer's health or like you've got to look at the full picture and that's what mods like this are really useful for is that you know what is that full picture looking like you know how good is a mod like this or this that it's maybe not as fast or maybe doesn't have quite as much of this or that but it's getting the job done so that's the video let me know your thoughts like subscribe comment i love all you may the force be with you and i'll see you guys in the next episode cheers